Let's check out the omelet Joy-Cons. So in front of me, I've got a load of omelets. <laughs> That's so weird to say. And each one of these omelets are Joy-Cons that are glow in the dark. And they've got one feature that makes them instantly better than the original Joy-Con. And you might spy over there in the corner. We also have a charging dock that we'll look at too. So let's open one up and see what we get inside the box. So this Joy-Con is an omelet. No, it's not made out of an egg, but it is glow in the dark. It's got anti-drifting joysticks. So yes, it does have Hall Effect Sensing joysticks. Woohoo! So that means no drift. And Omelette love it so much they tell you twice. Anti-drifting joystick, Hall Effect joystick, Sense Motion, which means gyro, Haptic Feedback, which means rumble, but we've also got Glow in the Dark. And basically what that means is you hold your Joy-Con like in the sun or under a UV or whatever for a while, and then it will actually glow in the dark. Opening it up, we have this. Boom, and there we go, revealing the Omelette. Boom, there we go again. And this is the white colorway. So you can almost see it in this light. I don't know if it will translate into camera, but it's almost got like a slight green hue on it. And I think that's that Lumi Glow. And then you also get your wrist strap in the bag as well. So you can pop that on and you can tether this to your little strappy bit on the side just here. And then, you know, you've got that safety which you want when you're using Joy-Cons if you're using motion control. And that's why I appreciate them giving you this side rail piece because they, they could have just not bothered, you know, but they did. They've given you this side rail piece so that you can still use it, you know, like this. If you want to use it as an independent Joy-Con, then you can do because these are sold separately. So you can buy these individually. The whole point is that you can get all these different colors, right, that I've got in front of me here and they're all glowing as well. So we've got some left sides and we've got some right sides as well, but you can get every single color in either left or right. So you can have two greens if you want, or you can have two yellow or whatever. But the whole point is that you buy them individually so that you can then like choose and mix, mix and match your favorite colors. So we still have our like eject button on the side just there to remove the side rail if you don't want to use that. And each one comes with the, the correct color rail, right? So obviously I've chosen the white one to unbox today, but all the other ones have the right color for the little grippy bit, which is pretty cool. And they're all glow in the dark. So let's look at a different one. Let's look at the green one, because why not? So the green one is just here and you will see straight away, you've got like a slight design to this. It's not just all like straight up plastic. So there's like a glossy strip that goes all the way around the Joy-Con and then uh, sort of around like areas as well. So there's like a faint piece of it going around the D-pad, around the screenshot button, around the thumbstick and the minus button just there. You can probably see it better like that, right? There's no back buttons or anything like that. We still have our L and ZL buttons just on the top there. Obviously our minus, our screenshot, there's no turbo or macro or anything like that, but we do have a proper D-pad and then our joystick as well, just up on the top there. And then you will have seen that we've got a USB-C on the side as well. And that's on every single one of them, no matter which side you buy, they all have that. But now let's compare them against the official Switch Joy-Cons. So you can see straight away, they're a lot bigger, like a lot, lot bigger. Now, if I get the left one, which is the same color, right? This might show you a little bit better, but yeah, a lot bigger, a lot chunkier as well. So you can see the triggers and bumpers are closer together and it's just a much wider unit, right? A much wider unit. It's pretty much exactly the same. They're, they're trying to match the Joy-Con almost identically, but it's just like a, a bigger version of it, right? Just a big chunkier version of the Joy-Con. Now, of course, the Joy-Con, the official Joy-Cons are much more expensive than these, but we'll go over the price at the end. But like plastic wise, yeah, I mean, the Joy-Cons feel like a better quality plastic. But to be fair, this does feel durable, you know? And of course, you're getting that added like Lumi Glow. So it does glow in the dark and you get some really cool colors in this and they're much cheaper. So even though these are massive, they're not any like heavier or anything. They, they seem to weigh about the same. Now, despite the fact that they're a lot bigger, the face buttons are actually pretty similar in size. I mean, there's a bigger spacing on the omelet. You know, they're not as close together, but they're pretty pretty similar in size. So like feel wise, I mean, the official Joy-Cons are very, very tight and got like a noticeable sort of click. You can almost 
feel each press, right? Whereas the omelets are a little bit more membrane-y. They're not bad, but they're not as tight as the official Switch Joy-Con just here. But the one place where it excels, and this is like the biggest selling point for me and the biggest point I would like recommend them with, is the joysticks. Now, obviously on my Switch Joy-Cons, right, I've got a topper on the top to give them more of a throw, right? But if I take this off, that's my Joy-Con joystick and it's got a really small throw. There's not really much accuracy at all whatsoever. It makes them really jittery and horrible. But with the omelet, right, you've got much greater throw. So they're a much bigger joystick module. So you actually have accuracy, you know, like you can, move it so much like if i'm moving the same pressure that's hang on ready that's about the the as far as the official joy con goes i've still got all of that to go on the omelet so the joysticks by far are much better even though they seem really small they are actually a larger module than the you know the official joy con it's just a totally different design it annoys me the official joy con joysticks really i don't like them but the omelet ones the whole effect so they're immediately way more accurate much less dead zone and there's just a greater range of motion because you can move that stick much further which again means more accuracy and of course it's being hall effect means there's no friction it uses magnets to input your sort of input there and it means that you won't get drift so whilst the official joy cons will get drift at some point these omelets you can't drift an omelet now in terms of d-pad obviously the official joy con doesn't have a d-pad at all it's just got the little buttons which is really annoying but the omelet does have a d-pad and it's okay you know it's all right it's not the best d-pad in the world but it's it's okay it's a, a usable d-pad i'm going to press down on the d-pad and i'm going to rock right he's not moving i'm going to rock left He's not moving, so there's no accidental inputs if I'm rocking the D-pad left or right. And I know some people absolutely love it if a D-pad won't do that. Now, if I shift my finger right over into the diagonal, then it then he's going to attempt to go that way. And the same, I'm down at the bottom again, shift over sort of diagonally bottom left, and now he's going that way. So, you know, and the same can be said if I press up on the top and I'm rocking, nothing's happening. If I shift completely diagonal, he moves. Shift di directly diagonal, he moves again. So in my opinion, that's a good thing, you know? It's not overly stiff, you know? It's got a decent bit of concave on there. And yeah, it's just a decent little D-pad to have on a Joy-Con alternative. Now let's look at the triggers and bumpers. Now, I wish that the back bumper just there, the trigger itself, actually had more of like a throw kind of more like the official Joy-Con, you know, because you can get your finger on that and press right on the back piece. With this, it's just two bumpers effectively. So you literally just have two bumpers. So you can't kind of like press it on the corner. You've got to press it directly on the top, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Some people might like that, but for me, I wish it kind of like scooped out a bit more. There's no pre or post travel. They're nice and clicky. They're, they're decent. But now let's stick them on the switch itself. So we've got our switch here and I'm going to just slide them on. You can see that they're fairly loose to like slide on and off, but they still click down. And then once they're in, there is a little bit of movement just there, but there's no like real flex on the back. There is sort of minor wiggle everywhere, but it's not like horrendous. Now on the right side, let's just slide it down and we're on. And that's what it looks like. And it's really strange because it looks like it should just be like this but you kind of think something's off. <laughs> and that's just because they look exactly the same as Switch Joy-Cons, right? I see, I even thought that was one, it's not. They pretty much look identical. They're just slightly bigger. So it just looks a little bit weird because I feel like that looks like an official Nintendo product, but something is slightly off and it's just because it's slightly bigger. Like it's, it's really strange, you know? But yeah, anyway, you've got a slight bit of a bump on the back to give you a little bit more ergonomics just there and it can stand up like that i wouldn't recommend leaving it like that but yeah you've got a bit more ergonomics just there 
and it feels nice you know it feels nice in the hand if anything you can get down to this right stick a lot nicer than you can with this one because with the switch joy con just here i always find that i'm quite crampy getting down to this corner but this one because it's just slightly a bit larger and because you've got taller sticks that give you a bit more range of motion it just fits under your hand a little bit nicer and i would definitely like playing like this a lot more with these than the official joy con and again it's just it's all about the sticks the biggest thing here is the hall effect sensing joysticks because for shooters and stuff like that you're going to get serious accuracy it's going to be really cool and now of course they do have rumble as well so they do just have standard rumble they're not hd rumble or anything like that but it's a, they're okay you know it's not the, the worst rumble i've felt it's not the best it's kind of like a nice consistent feeling rumble let's see if you can hear it So the rumble is just one set motion you know you can't change it you can't make it stronger or weaker or adjust it or anything like that but to be perfectly honest it feels all right it's not the worst thing it doesn't rattle the chassis too much you can hear in that audio like test that i just did for you there it's quite tight and it actually feels all right you know so there you go so this is the omelette pro plus dock charger and again really like the packaging really premium looking and feeling you know like it, it's just a nice designed box and it tells you that you know you can fit four joy cons on it and it shows that you can fit larger style joy cons as well so third party joy cons and all that good stuff so this is the station and it's really cool i like it a lot you've got four joy con docking stations so you can you know attach the official joy cons to it if you want to like so and then it changes to red to say hey this is charging and you can do that with each one so it changes the color once it's charged as well, which is really cool. And of course you can stick on the, you know, the omelet ones as well. So you just slide them down. You don't need to do anything. You just slide on, slide off. But there is a button on the bottom and pressing that changes the effect of it charging effectively. So I pressed it again and now it's changed the direction of the RGB LED. Press it again and again now it's flashing, do like a different design, press it again. It just goes around all these different effects. Now it's like breathing mode and all that kind of stuff or just different brightnesses. It's pretty cool. I like this a lot. It's really handy. You can just plug this straight into your official Nintendo Switch dock and then it can charge four Joy-Con for you. It's really well made as well and i do like the rgb led design as well it's pretty cool lets you know when stuff's charged so now before i give you my opinion on all this what are the price is well the dock comes in at 24 pounds so i don't know what that is in dollars probably about 30 dollars ish and the joy cons they come in at 19 pounds each so you're looking at 38 pounds for a pair and of course you can choose any colorway that you want you can have two green two blue or mix and match and all that good stuff but yeah they're 19 pounds each so a set will get you there for 38 pounds but of course if you're looking at the official joy cons these are going to set you back like full price these are 69.99 so they're quite a bit more i mean yes you can find them for a lot cheaper nowadays so they're probably about 20 pounds more expensive realistically and of course with the official ones you are getting nfc you're getting hd rumble as well and yeah i mean it's just down to you for me personally i think these are aimed brilliantly at kids because of the glow in the dark feature but again to be fair if you just like joy con designs and you want hall effect sensing joysticks and a fairly good d-pad these are really decent you know i would recommend these they're not for me personally because i prefer the sort of like slightly more like pro style joy con that have more better ergonomics or like more features but i do appreciate omelette's place here and i do think they are decent for the price and the features so that's what i think of the omelette joy cons and the charging dock what do you think let me know down in the comments and whilst you're there subscribe and become a member where you can see these videos early and you can get an invite to our private discord where you can chat to me and aj and everyone else that's in there as well and talking of aj check out our podcast over here where we talk about all things gaming and check out another video from me down here bye